Welcome back. As you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy here for The Daily Blob where I shake my brain nipples every day to get some of that dirty, dirty YouTube money to allow me to provide you folks hands-on in-person technology education. So there's something called Silicon Dojo, siliconedojo.com. Uh, we have a classes every couple of weeks in Durham, North Carolina. We're about to have a class on the OpenAI's API. If you're interested, you go to siliconedojo.com to see what classes we have coming up and RSVP there. If you want to support those types of classes and the things I do, there's a donor box link down below. You can throw some money in. Uh, the classes are free to the end user. That's not actually free. Somebody has to pay for it. So, uh, so crowdfunding, your, your tip down below would be ever so lovely. So, uh, so yay, jingoism. Yay, jingoism. Don't you love jingoism? Don't you love an America that is fully in the jingoistic mood? Uh, so we have this coming from NVIDIA. NVIDIA, straight from their blog, where they are celebrating Trump. They are celebrating Trump because because the, policy, the policies that Trump put into place three years ago are, uh, are bearing fruit to allow NVIDIA to produce uh, GPU uh, silicon here in the United States. Yep, that's right, that's right. Ba back in 2022, during the Biden administration, Trump put through policies to allow for this American revolution to occur. Politics is so weird right now. <laughs> It's so, it's so, oh, it makes your brain hurt. Like Jensen Wong is like, we, we would like to thank the Trump administration for making this possible for this process that started three years ago. And you're like, oh, fuck. you know, Trump wasn't president three years ago, right? Anyways, anyways, don't, don't think about reality. Just accept whatever the current jingoism is and be happy because we're winning. We're winning. Anyways, from NVIDIA, the engines of American-made intelligence. Uh, the engines of American-made intelligence, NVIDIA and TSMC celebrate first NVIDIA Blackwell wafer produced in the United States. Again, Engines of American-made intelligence, NVIDIA, fair enough, and TSMC, which is a Taiwanese company. <laughs> so the engines of American-made intelligence are Taiwanese. Ah, eh, well. You just can't think about this stuff too much anymore. Just, just, just be happy. Just read the blurb and be happy. The celebration showcased how manufacturing the world's AI technology stack in America will fuel innovation and bolster the U.S. supply chain. NVIDIA and TSMC are working together to build the infrastructure that powers the world's AI factories right here in America. NVIDIA founder and CEO Jensen Wong today visited TSMC's semiconductor manufacturing facility in Phoenix to celebrate the first NVIDIA Blackwell wafer produced on U.S. soil, represent representing that Blackwell has reached volume production. Quote, this is a historic moment for several reasons. It's the very first time in recent American history that the single most important chip is being manufactured here in the United States by the most advanced fab by TSMC here in the U.S., Wong said at the event. This is the vision of President Trump's uh, Trump of reindustrialization to bring back uh, manufacturing to America to create jobs, of course, but also this is the single most vital manufacturing industry and the most important technology uh, industry in the world. Um, so the thing I, I want you to think about here, this is the vision of President Trump of reindustrialization, right? Quote, but to continue, to go from arriving in Arizona to delivering the first US-made NVIDIA Blackwell chip in just a few short years represents the very best of TSMC. So, so Trump, Trump is getting the, uh, the accolades for the stuff that was done during the Biden administration. Fair enough. That's basically how it goes nowadays, said uh, Ray Chuang, CEO of TSMC Arizona. Quote, this milestone is built on three decades of partnership with NVIDIA, pushing the boundaries of technology together and on the unwavering dedication of our employees and the local partners who helped make TSMC Arizona possible. The wafer, the base material for semiconductors, will go through a complex process of layering, pattering, etching, and dicing before taking shape as the ultra-high performance accelerated AI chip the NVIDIA Blackwell architecture offers. That is one of the interesting things. It'll be curious to see what's going on here. So they're creating the wafer. So they're creating the wafer in Arizona. Once you create the wafer, there's something called the packaging process. And there's been a lot of arguments about this. <laughs> there's been a lot of curious arguments about this. Where at least with some 
some silicon, I'm not saying with these Blackwell chips, the idea was that TSMC was going to produce the wafers in the United States and then send them back to Taiwan for packaging. So basically you need Taiwan as part of the process to actually get a finished good. So I, I am curious about where Blackwell sits with that whole process. So there's there's the idea, again, with the whole idea of reshoring, that we're, we're able to produce all these goods here. But if you can only produce one stage of the good and you need you know someplace else to actually finish the product, there is a question of what is the value proposition there. TSMC will produce advanced technologies, including two, three, and four nanometer chips, as well as A16 chips, all essential for applications like AI, telecommunications, and high performance computing. Onshoring world class AI chip making to American soil. American based manufacturing is crucial to meeting the growing demand for AI. Today's achievement marks a huge step forward in semiconductor manufacturing and AI development in the US, paving the way for sustained American leadership in AI. Uh, NVIDIA, Blackwell GPUs offer exceptional performance, return on investment, and energy efficiency uh, for AI inference. So, uh, so yeah, so there we go. I don't know. Blackwell wafer created in Arizona on American soil. What does it mean? Who actually knows? <laughs> I honestly don't know. I'm not even being snarky here. I'm not, I know it's like, well, Eli, no, I'm not, I'm actually not being snarky here. I don't really actually know what this means. Right? If this thing has to get shipped back to Taiwan, the way for us to get shipped back to Taiwan for packaging, then it means, okay, I mean, we've got some, some, some more high skill, high value manufacturing here, but on a, on a larger scale, we haven't reduced our dependence on places like Taiwan. So I don't know. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see, see where, where we move forward with all of this. Uh, it is curious that, again, the Trump administration is getting the kudos uh, for basically what was started under the Biden administration. Um, so be curious to see how, how Trump uses this to show that, you know, he's winning the, the China trade war or whatever the hell else is going on. Um, and it'll be just be interesting to kind of follow along and try to see where this goes. So what do you think about this? What do you think about uh, the Blackwell wafer being produced in Arizona? Is this a turning point for U.S. manufacturing or is this, I don't know, jingoism at its finest? Is this, is this a win for Trump or is it a win for Biden? Is this a Rorschach test? You, you just simply, you put, you put an event on the table in front of somebody and you're like, who, who gets the credit and who gets the blame? And it's your like political Rorschach test. I think that's an interesting thing. I don't know. Put your, put your thoughts down below. If you like these videos, give us a thumbs up. If you hate these videos, give us a thumbs down. Call me amazing. Call me a moron. Just be a real Lutnik and do it down there in the comment section. Do remember SiliconDojo.com is what I actually care about. We're doing an open AI API class uh, this Wednesday. We only have one seat left last time I looked. Uh, we are having more classes going into the future. If you're interested in those, go to SiliconDojo.com. Do remember free to the end user is not actually free. It costs some money. So there's a donor box link down below if you're interested in throwing some money in for the project. Project. And with that, see y'all later.